Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring that speaker. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> all right, back up. Okay, YouTube, we are out here on location with the beautiful. Morgan? Yeah, your name. Morgie Roby at Morgie Roby. What's up? <laughs> we can't. We can't hear you. You know what? We're gonna restart this because yeah, we didn't. We didn't rehearse this very well. We didn't rehearse it. Right, so, okay, YouTube. We are out on location with the beautiful Morgie Roby. Okay, all right. And we are doing a quick one-off session. Uh, we're about to go yeah. shoot in the struggle studio, but she had a great look, and I was like, you know what? I know a great spot that would work for this look, and I want to do like a quick little natural light versus flash comparison so we're gonna do this real quick real quick come up boom so let me show you guys the situation so it is noon and the sun is right there boom right but we have an open shade area so you see where the line is right there boom so we have this open shade spots so I have it here looking pretty as usual and um the first set of shots I'm gonna do with the reflector with natural light. We're gonna see how those look. And then the next set we're gonna use a flash. And then you guys can let me know what you like better, the natural light or the flash. All right, ready? Booyah, shot. Yeah, <laughs> okay, YouTube, so I am filming on my iPhone, which is right there. Um, and I have this here. Quick tip about natural light. This is, this is the key to making your natural light pictures better, is a reflector, right? So check this out. Of course, the light looks good here. This is fine. But look what happens when I put the natural light next to her face. Ooh. Ah. Now stay there. Take it away. Natural light. Ooh. Okay. All right. So you guys, um, even though you can do it without a reflector and you'll get decent results, if you want to take your natural light pictures to the next level, get you a reflector. All right. All right. Let's go. You ready? Yep. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so before we get to this video, I want to take a second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online community with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. Skillshare includes all kinds of courses that help you sharpen your photographic skill with classes like The Fundamentals of Digital Photography by Justin Bridges, or if you're anything like me and you're looking for some new creative techniques to separate yourself from the pack, then there are classes like Tap of the Parks in-camera double exposure photography. Check out this image I created after taking her class. Okay, okay, I still got some work to do, but you get it. Um, Skillshare is super affordable with an annual subscription being less than $10 a month. With that, premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join classes and communities that are just right for you. So join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. Hit that link in the description so you can get your two months free trial. You got nothing to lose. Go back up a little bit. I just need a little taste. Like tiger. <laughs> oh man.
Look at Look at it. Turn it all the way so that you two can see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, you two? How you doing? Oh, shit. I can't scroll. I can't. You two, I'm failing. Oh, I did something. If you, you like that? If you hard press. Oh, look, I'm moving all around. I like those. Those are cute. Those are awesome. Right? Those are nice. Okay, cool. You're gonna have to edit out the scratch mark on my tummy. Where's the scratch mark on your tummy? Do you see it? Oh, stop fighting polar bears. I, it was my nail. I broke my nail and <laughs> oh, then I cut wow. myself with my own nail. You're fighting yourself then. I was. I'm you a stop, polar bear. Stop fighting them raccoons at uh, <laughs> Point Defiance. Can you call me a raccoon? <laughs> okay, so um, let's switch to Flash. Okay, YouTube, now we got the Flash and we're gonna do some Flash pictures in the same setting instead of using natural light this time i'm going to use a flash so you guys can see the difference my flash setup is going to be whoop the uh godox 8360 slash flash point streak light 360 which is a 360 watt light uh mobile flash with a battery pack my modifier of choice is going to be my fovatech 41 inch deep parabolic umbrella with a diffuser to soften the light up and so we're going to have this um camera left about right there to the model so you can see the position of the flash and um, yeah we're just gonna get started so back to recording we're gonna take these pictures we're gonna test out and then you guys are gonna let me know and well you're gonna see the difference at least all right cool okay all right cool ready Bruh. Uh, I use natural light all the time unless I'm taking selfies on Snapchat. Oh, I think you, you okay, all right. That's it, folks. All right, so when people, I'm not a photographer, <laughs> right? When people normally shoot you, do they use a lot of natural light or flash? Um, natural light or around town, uh, flash obviously in studios and stuff. Oh, that's right, you do some okay, mm -hmm. cool, all right. But I'm I'm the best that's ever shot her. So isn't that right? That's right. Whatever okay, you say, right. that's right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I right, peace out. <laughs>